Lips. For centuries, so many poems have been written about lips. Lips are the opening to our heart. They're the pathway, aren't they? Last night, ah, yesternight, betwixt her lips and mine, there fell thy shadow. He that loves a rosy cheek or a coral lip admires or from starlit eyes doth seek few to maintain his fires. Cherry ripe, 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 I cry. Fool and fair ones, come and buy. If so be you, ask me where they did grow. I answer, there, where's my Julie lips do smile? There's the land or the cherry isle. It's true that what Percy Blythe Shelley wrote in Prometheus Unbound, soul meets soul on lover's lips. Welcome again. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Today I'm going to do a video about lips, which you know that I love. If you watch my channel enough, you know that I love lips and eyes. I'm going to do reviews on lipstick by an acquaintance of mine, Linda Roden. Now my husband really introduced me to Linda because he met her in New York at our dog park and she was with her dog Winky. So I got to uh, meet her through my husband's first introduction. And I love that she has such an unusual look. She really is a fashion icon and is, she's not afraid to wear bright red lipsticks. She doesn't dye her hair. Uh, her hair is curly like mine and she doesn't straighten it. So she has developed her own personal look and when I first met her, she was doing her uh, skin care and cosmetics uh, right from her apartment years ago. And now she has been uh, bought out by Estee Lauder, but she still has her own products. And I am going to talk about four lipsticks today that uh, she has developed and really means something to her. Today I am wearing Winky. It's a beautiful pink shade, and I usually don't wear shades this pink, but I really like it. And Winky is the name of her dog, so being an animal lover, I am wearing Winky today uh, in uh, honor of her pet. But first of all, I'm going to show you a short haul that I made the other day at Zara. I went to the museum, and I put that uh, video up on Saturday and on the way back it's just a few blocks away from here I decided instead of washing walking down Washington Avenue where the museum is I would cut over one block toward the beach and go down Collins Avenue where Sephora and Banana Republic and Gap and Free People and Tama behind all those great great stores are and you know that I have passed Zara maybe a hundred times and I have never gone in Zara at all but I watch Trini of London I just love her she has such high energy that I, I really am out of breath watching her because she is just all over the place but I really really love her she has the greatest personality ever but she's always doing Zara hauls so when I saw Zara I thought you know I've never been in this store in my life Trini loves it, and my daughter told me that in Europe, she loves it. 
So I went into Zara and I found a couple of things. The blouse that I am wearing reminded me so much of the 70s. And I know they're showing the prints and things of the 70s now. But I love the color and it's great to wear with my jeans and my long skirts. And I bought another blouse that I just love. Look at it. It's colorful. It's beautiful pink. Look how pretty it is. I love the colors on it. And it's the sleeves that really got me. It has ruched sleeves. I just love it. So those are my two Zara purchases. My very first ever in my life purchases from Zara. But I am sure to go back again now that I know that they have great clothes and I am so close. Maybe that's not a good thing. I don't know. Anyway... I'm going to show you the lipsticks today from from Linda's uh, uh, collection, Linda Roden. And as I said, I am wearing, and it comes in a beautiful, look how pretty they are, a beautiful uh, um, container, beautiful uh, clear. Isn't that pretty? And I just love them very, very much. I can put a little mark on my hand to show you. The color It's a very vivid and bright pink, but I like it a lot, and I usually don't wear bright pinks. The other colors that uh, I have here, she has, um, this is called Red Hetty, and I know she did this in honor of Hetty Lamar. Isn't that a pretty color? It's a dark red. And all of her lipsticks, I'm going to put the ingredients in this video. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous red. All of her ingredients are natural ingredients, and I'm going to list them in this video so that you can see exactly all the good things that are, that are in her lipsticks, plus the beautiful crystal clear uh, containers I really like a lot, too. All right, and the next one is, um, I have to, I'm sorry, it's upside down, So Moi. Now, I don't know what the history of this color is, but it's also a beautiful, sort of a natural pink color. Very light, very muted. This is something that I see how pretty it is, but it's very light. This is something I probably would be wearing during the day when I'm very, very casual and I don't want to have bright lips. And the next one is Billy on the Bike. Now, her mother was her inspiration because her mother always wore bright red lipsticks and she rode a bike and she was very vibrant and vivacious. Linda has such wonderful memories of her mother. And this is the vibrant, deep, deep red color. It's called Billy on the Bike. And I'm going to put it right here where I do have. And that's the red color right there. But it's very vibrant and very pretty. So those are the four colors of Linda's, uh, the, the, that I chose. Now she has other colors, but I know that these colors were designed by her before she was purchased by Estee Lauder. And so I know that they are her original ideas and her original colors. So I thought I just would like to show you today just exactly all of her colors. But I, I really love I love her lipsticks because they're all natural and they all have great ingredients in them. Short little video today. I've been very busy doing other things, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Lips are so important. When I meet someone, the first thing I look at is their smile and, and I look at their eyes. Those are the things that capture me. As a matter of fact, they capture me so much that usually when they say their name, do you know where it goes? It's a zip. It goes right by me. I am absolutely horrible at names because I am such a visual person. I am such a, a, a people person visually that when I meet someone, I am so involved in visually who they are, I will never forget a face. If I see someone, I will absolutely never forget a face. And I want to tell you a very quick story. When I was in Israel one time, in Tel Aviv, I was shopping 
and uh, walking around, and all of a sudden, I saw this face, and I thought, you know what? I know her. I know her from somewhere. And all of a sudden, I realized, so I went over to her. We were. She was on a tour, and I was on a separate tour. And I said, you know what? Are you from New Jersey? <laughs> and she said, yes. I said, do you work at the mall uh, up north, the Bergen Mall? She said, yes. I said, in the cosmetic counter? She said, yes. I said, I know you. I said, I have bought things from you. So here, I met her in Bergen County at the big mall there. And here I met her again in Tel Aviv. I mean, what are the odds of that? But that just shows you I never forget a face. But names, oh my gosh, they zip right by me. So um, I try to be better, but you know, I don't always, I don't always do it. So I hope they forgive me when I see them. I said, oh, hi, you know, but I don't mention the names because I can't remember it. Okay, that's all I have for today, but thank you so much for coming uh, and joining me. I have another video that's going to be up talking about my favorite five books that really influenced my life. Have a great, great day. Be good to yourself, be kind to someone, and for sure, share all the love that you have with someone else, and it's a beautiful thing. See you soon. 